In column batch adsorption, once we have our breakthrough curve for our adsorption column, how do we choose the breakpoint TB? Let us assume that we have a situation where it is the product that we absorb. We want a high purity of our product, but we also want a high yield. At the same time, we want to have as small a column as possible. The earlier breakpoint we choose, the less of the product we lose, and hence the better yield we get. On the other hand, an early breakpoint means that we don't use so much of the capacity of the column. The later the breakpoint we choose, the higher the degree of column utilization we get, but we reduce the yield. This becomes an optimization problem where we need the entire breakthrough curve to choose our breakpoint. What we optimize could, for example, include the economic viability of, of the production and or the environmental impact of the process. The part of the column capacity that we do not utilize is often referred to as the length of unused bed, LUB. LUB approximately equals the length of the column multiplied with 1 minus TB divided by T star. Doing experiments on product scale equipment would be very expensive. Thus, we want to be able to make small scale experiments and scale those up to a production scale. Depending on the circumstances and the characteristics of the process, there are different methods for upscaling. We will have here focus on a method that relies on constant pattern. If we have constant pattern and make sure to keep the linear velocity in meters per second constant, that is the same linear velocity in the small column as in the large column, the length of unused bed will be the same in both columns. This means that if we increase the area, we also need to increase the flow rate to get meter per second the same. With constant pattern and the same linear velocity in both columns, the breakthrough curve will travel with the same velocity through both columns. The point on the breakthrough curve that represents T star will travel with this velocity through the entire column. Thus, T star is scalable with uh, column length. Our breakpoint TB, however, isn't scalable with length. If we choose TB for both columns as the point where the concentration in the outlet has reached a certain level, the difference between T star and TB is constant. This is equivalent with saying that LUB is constant, because when we have constant pattern, the concentration gradient does not change as it moves through the column, and the distance in time or space between two parts of the gradient remains constant. We can calculate the breakpoint for our large column using LUB for our small column in the following way. Our new breakpoint equals T star for the new column multiplied with 1 minus LUB divided with our new column length.